Hi guys, Alex here from Angel Gilding. I've just finished up my most recent mirroring project and I noticed that my waste treatment bucket here has gotten pretty full. So I thought this was a good opportunity for me to show you the waste treatment process. Now it's really important that you take the time to treat your mirror waste. There are heavy metals within it, so you want to make sure that you don't just dump it down the drain or throw it in the trash. Not only is that irresponsible, but depending on where you live, it could even be illegal. So you want to make sure you take the time to do this process. It's nothing too complicated and I'll show you how to do it. Now, as you can see, my wastewater here is pretty murky brown. Uh, the exact color of it is going to vary depending on the amount of chemicals you've used and distilled water and such. I've been using wetting agent and so not only does that affect the color of my waste, but I do also need to use my wetting agent disposer. So if you aren't using wetting agent in your mirroring process, you can go ahead and skip this first step. So I've just been accumulating the waste over time in this five gallon bucket and we'll go through the purpose of this other bucket in a little bit. So first I've got my wetting agent disposer here and some dosage cups. All of these are included in the waste treatment kit for wetting agent. So I'll just go ahead and measure out two full dosage cups of my disposer. Go ahead and pour it in the solution. Now you wanna get pretty close with your measurements, but this isn't something where you need to be very, very exact. And really, each person's mirror waste is going to vary just a little bit. With the disposer though, I recommend that you don't put too much in because that could have an effect on the ability of the clay to do its work later in the process. So now I put my disposer in and I've just got this uh, stick that I used to stir it. And I'm gonna go around and around stirring it about 10 times or so. I wanna make sure that I'm dispersing that disposer throughout the mix and letting it clump onto that wetting agent. Now with this mixing and the mixing later, I could certainly do that with a paint stirrer attached to an electric drill. It would just speed up the process, but I figured today I'd just show you how to do it with things you might have lying around. Okay, now I've given this a really good stir and I'm going to let it sit for about 45 minutes or so to let that disposer get to work. And I will start to see a, a color change. Like I said, it started out pretty dark. Now I'm going to see that that disposer is starting to clump together in flocks and the liquid is starting to turn clear. So we'll come back in about 45 minutes and go on to the next step. Okay, so we're back now. We've let the wastewater sit here for about 45 minutes to an hour and I can see a pretty dramatic change already. Now before I had that dark murky brown liquid and since adding my disposer, I've noticed that now I have a good amount of pretty clear yellowish liquid on top and my solids have sunk down to the bottom. So now I'm ready for my clay. And remember, the clay is the part of the process it's going to be the same whether you're using the wetting agent or not. And once again, the measurements I'm using today are for treating five gallons of waste. So I'm going to be taking my waste treatment clay and measuring up five cupfuls of the clay and pouring them in. Once again, this isn't something where you need to be exact. In the instructions, we do include the weight measurements as well, if you'd rather do that. Okay, and that's my fifth cup there and now using that same stick that i was using before to mix i'm going to go ahead and mix this i want to stir this pretty vigorously now i'm noticing as i'm stirring it's gone back to that dark murky brown don't worry about that once my clay gets to work i'm going to see that it settles out again and i will see a lot of that clear liquid yellowish color liquid on top with my solids at the bottom now, once I'm pretty comfortable with how much I've stirred this here, I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for several hours or overnight. Um, I usually let it sit overnight just to make sure it's really had enough time to do its work. I can see already that there's blocks of solid floating along the liquid, that clay's taking effect, starting to work here, and I am gonna let it sit, and then when we come back, we will go ahead and filter it out and toss it. Hi guys, I've gone ahead and let my waste 
water sit overnight and I can tell that it's done its work and it's ready to be filtered. I can see that the liquid here is very clear, just a slight yellow color to it. And my solids have all settled down to the bottom. So both my clay and my wetting agent disposer have done their work. Now I just need to filter it and dispose of it. So as I mentioned before, I've got this five gallon bucket here and I went ahead and put my support net on there. And that just holds the filter. So I've got a new filter. You'll want to use a new filter each time you do this process. And this next step, it's really up to you. I personally am not very good at lifting a bucket of this size. So I like to just use another waste bucket and start by skimming the water off the top and pouring it through the filter. Now, even though I can tell that this water is pretty filtered, um, I always want to make sure I put it through the filter as well, just in case there's any kind of sediments that that would catch in there as well. Okay, so now once I've reached the point where I've emptied out enough of the water, I can go ahead and pick up the bucket. I'm going to slowly pour it into this five gallon bucket over here. And you want to make sure that you do this slowly so if the water goes through first, the solids are going to come through pretty congealed in one lump. So I want to make sure I'm paying attention to that, that it doesn't slush over. Okay, so now what I've got here um, is I've got the liquid that's been filtered below, so that's gone into the bucket, and now I've just got the solid particles. That's my waste treatment clay, my disposer. It's binded all of those heavy metals together. So now I just want to let this sit for a bit, make sure the water is fully drained out, and then all of the solid particles can go right into the regular trash. The filtered water below can go safely into your drain without any concerns. So let us know if you have any questions or ideas of other videos you'd like to see in the comments below. Subscribe to be notified of future videos and check out our website, angelgilding.com. Thanks.